Solomon Enos, and I'm a native Hawaiian artist. I was born and raised out in uh, Waianae on the west coast of Oahu. Uh, and my family are still out there. I still have uh, made some you know, connections, some roots out in Waianae Valley. Um, I grew up going with my father to the back of the uh, Waianae Valley. Um, he helped to begin the Ka'ala Cultural Learning Center. And so much of my understanding of what it means to be Hawaiian came from really just osmosis, just being in the lohi and uh, absorbing who I am, my identity, just by being there. Um, and I actually didn't really take a lot of uh, formal classes on Hawaiian history or anything. It was really just by doing and being around and hanging around and being present um, is how I learned how to be or what it means to be Hawaiian. And that, that, that understanding is still growing every day. You know, this is such a wonderful opportunity to, um, you know, help to translate some ideas, some things that uh, maybe sometimes hard time, hard. It's hard to grasp, but images can really cut to the idea. Images can really make complicated thoughts more simple and easily digestible. So, um, since then, uh, through a series of correspondences, a uh, series of drafts. Uh, we came up with um, an image of uh, uh, Queen Liliuokalani, um, and her features are rendered as if it's Aina, as if it's Vai, Kai, uh, Wai. You know the estuaries, the the, the, the Kula lands, the you know the Vau Kanaka, Vau Nahele, Vau Akua. All of these components, because um, in this in this image, I tried to encompass all the things that she was talking about. All the things that she was reminding us about, and the things that you know really are uh, connected to her legacy. For the cover image itself, uh, some of the components that uh, I wanted to capture was Loi, was Kahawai, and how it peels up. If you look at it kind of closely, you have little elements of uh, you actually goes between being waterways and awai and and um, blood vessels as if you know the idea of living aina idea of the aina as a body the aina as an entity the aina as being sentient and conscious and i think those are perspectives that our poikahiko have uh, had in so much as when we talk about land we talk about our grandmother and those are some of the things that why you know that that's why for me it's kind of like this connection with liliu and aina liliu and her legacy being connected to a very tangible and physical understanding of land as sentient land as she knows we're here she feels our weight upon her you know she has a heartbeat she has organs um, there's a connection I think and I think these are these are all things that again I'm not, not being a scholar not coming in from a scholarly perspective but more from just a, just a deeper understanding uh, just from being on the land, being connected to the land, growing up in the back of Waianae Valley. So the bottom of the piece itself seems to wrap underneath, almost as if the Aina itself is huli. And so you're looking at it from below. And um, I think what I wanted to sort of capture with this idea was, um, you know, reflecting on uh, a land, a time, a people in transition, a um, idea of to uh, almost like. Um, Maybe even we could look at that, the, the prophecy chant. Uh, so the, the um, what was above will be brought down. What was below will be raised up. Um, the walls will be raised and the islands will be united. So that's kind of interesting prophecy chant. Um, so it's all these all these kinds of things inform my work. Sometimes I, I borrow from them. Sometimes I sort of glean from them. Um, but that's something that I feel um, I feel I feel is, is pono is to tap into is to tap into some kuhiko manao whenever I create process. So one more thought, if I can leave it on this, and I think to to, to harken back to our our role as navigators, um, we navigated to a place, even though we didn't see it, we navigated because we knew all the signs were there. Well, there's another world in this world that we need to navigate. To. Yeah, and it's a better world than this, and it is here. Yeah, but I think it takes, it'll take every, every nuance, every shred of wisdom uh, of our ancestors to help the world to get there. And I think these are some of the goals that Liliu had in plan, had, had, you know, knew about and had, in, had, had 
hoped that we would fulfill. You know, that not just perpetuation of this aina is not just this aina, but it is ikahunua name. So. <laughs>